permutation is about the number of ways we can arrange a group of objects where the order of these objects matter. So for example, let's say we have three letters, A, B, C. What permutation means is the number of ways we can arrange these three letters. So this is one way, A, B, C. Another way could be A, C, B. The position, the order of these letters matters. So A, B, C is different from A, C, B. Another way is B, A, C. This is another way of expressing it. Or B, C, A, another permutation of the three letters A, B, C. And there are two more, C, A, B, and C, B, A. So permutations is about having a group of objects and arranging them in such a way that, that the order, the position of these objects with respect to another object matters. So let's try an example similar to this one. Um, let's assume there are five people in a race. Let's call them Annie, Bob, uh, Charlie, Dylan, and um, Emmanuel. And they're good friends that they're racing, but they all have different speeds, so none of them can finish in the same position throughout the race. After the race, they look at the leaderboards. How many ways can the leaderboards show the results? For example, one way of finishing the race would be to have Bob coming first, uh, Annie coming second, Charlie, Emmanuel, and Dylan. I think his name is Dylan, or maybe it was David. So in total, how many of such rearrangements exist? So let's start with the first position. How many ways can someone come in first place? Well, we can have A come in first place, B, C, D, or E. So there are five ways someone can come in first place. How many ways can someone come in second place? After the first person has come in first place, without loss of generality, let's say it was A, there would be four people left who can come in second place. After a, a person has come in second place, let's say Charlie, there will be three people left who can come in third place. After someone comes in third place, there will be two people left who can come in second place, uh, fourth place, and one person left who can come in fifth place. So this creates a total of uh, five times four times three times two times one, 120 ways the leaderboards can be arranged. Another way to express this is five factorial equals 120. You may have realized that 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 is exactly the same as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that means that if the leaderboards only show the top 4 positions, we would still have 120 ways of 120 different leaderboards. 5 people who can come in first, 4 people who can come in second, 3 people who can come in third, 2 people who can come in fourth. It's the same as if we multiplied this by 1. 120 as well. Let's assume now that the leaderboards only show the top three people. In this case, how many leaderboards exist? Well, um, I'm just going to scroll down a bit. Top three people, so five people can come in first, four people can come in uh, second, and three people can come in third. So top three, there are five times four times three, 60 different leaderboards. Another way of uh, writing this is by having P representing permutation um, 5, 3. So this means that we have 5 people in total or 5 objects in total and we are only arranging 3 of them, the top 3. So we have 5 runners, we only want um, the top 3 runners. 5 permutation of 5, um, comma 3. Another way of expressing this would be 5P3. And the general formula is to have um, 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial or and, and you can verify that this works or a more general way is say that p n r where n in this case will be 5 r is 3 is equal to n factorial n minus r factorial so this is the general formula for doing permutations. Let's try uh, one more example using this short formula. Don't actually try to memorize this formula, try to understand it. And then from understanding, this formula should come naturally. So let's say you have eight great friends. Let's say Z, W, X, Y, A, 
J, K, L. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you have four different gifts. How many ways can you give these gifts to your friends? So we start with the first gift. There are eight people we can give it to. And then the second gift. And then the third gift. And the fourth gift. So there are a total of eight times seven times six times four ways. Oh, sorry, times five ways you can give the gift. Or we could have written this as eight, where eight is n, divide by eight minus four factorial. But basically, any time you want to count something and the order matters, think of permutations and think of the number of spots, the first place, the second place, the third place, the fourth place, etc., to the nth place the objects can take. Thank you for watching.